get to sleep with a roof over our heads. This is a friendship. Trust the insist. Why now of all time? Losing your temper because it's the truth. You really are a pathetic mess of knowledge. Enough! You fleet is like coward! Unleash lightning! Take this! Pierce I will show you true power! Foolish, Sonic Rising Wyvern! The only thing that can unite the people of this world is domination, my Find them with chains of fear and drag them to heal at your will of dominion. Trample them and make them crawl on the ground. Stop! Not like you! Take this! Through escape! Sonic Thrust! Pierce through! I have no limits! Take this! Pierce through! Sonic Thrust! Unleash life! Pierce through! Sonic Thrust! Thrust! Sonic Thrust! Sonic Thrust! Pierce through! Too the flame inside me yearns to be less free! He's nothing more than an endless... ...beings demanding that their needs be satisfied. Their loyalty something to give, then turn their backs after. They are not worthy of it. The only mercy that can be granted to them is the guidance of the strong. I'm not interested in your reason. Disagree? Are you so afraid to admit the truth that power and fear will always win over faith and honor? Or will it take the pain of the whip to open your eyes? Maybe. 
It's true that I don't know the pain of the whip. I couldn't feel pain when they struck me, after all. And I understand what you're saying. People can be selfish. That much I can't deny. They hide their true intentions to get what they want. I've seen it countless times. Even so, I choose a path free of oppression. So a refusal, then. At the very least, you have no choice but to use force if you wish to destroy me. Do I? Maybe you can be defeated with force. But that would make me no better than you. If you utilize fear to rise above others, you'll only live in fear of when you yourself will fall. It's another form of oppression. Hmm. You aren't Volron. You're a shadow born from my doubts. Even if that's true, I still have the power to engulf you in darkness. What will you do if not destroy me? If you were born from me, then that means you're a part of me. I'll accept that and keep on living. Hmm. Taking the weak route, are we? Go on then, but stay vigilant, or the night may come when this shadow consumes you. I'm used to your threats, but I'll heed your warning all the same. Good morning. <clears throat> Didn't get enough sleep? No, it's not that. Then what? I think I had a strange dream. Oh? About what? I don't remember exactly, but I think it was important. Well, whatever it was, you seem less tired than you were yesterday. Now that you mention it, I do feel like a load has been lifted. Good. Now let's get moving. We still have a lot to do. Yeah. I'm not giving up. I think it's safe to rest here now. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. The world in front of me, I guess. Nothing has really changed, but somehow it feels like I'm looking at something new. Even the stars are brighter. It's like a wall that was always there is gone now. It's hard to describe. Maybe your breakthrough has let you see things differently. You think so? <laughs> yeah. You might be right. Maybe I was scared. That people would be disappointed in you? Yes. But then I was thinking, do you remember the last thing Volron said to me? If you choose to walk that path, you choose that path. You choose a path of betrayal, despair, and corruption. I remember. If I kept trying to play the hero everyone wanted me to be, I may have ended up just like he said. Of course, I know this won't solve all my problems. I'm sure there will still be times when I face betrayal or despair, but I can accept that if it's the result of my own choices. As long as I make my own decisions, I will be the master of my own fate. It's strange how a simple change in one's mindset can make such a big difference. It's not like I'm doing anything differently. You freed yourself. It's been a while, but you finally look like yourself again, Alfin. Thanks. Thank you, Xion. Crap! 
picture. Right. Yeah! I can't believe they cared so little about that kid. They didn't have to go chasing after him or anything, but at least do something. I know how you feel, Law, but blaming them won't change the situation. I know, but... Damn it! What were they thinking? That was quite the little adventure we went on. There you are! Looks like we found you before the Zoogles did. What a relief. Who are you? I don't speak to Danids. We came to find you. It's not safe out here, so we'll take you home. You live in the Fagin ruins, don't you? Yeah, that's where I live. But I have no plans to go back yet. Whoa, buddy, didn't you hear what we said? There's Zoogles out here. It's dangerous. Oh, please. I can use astral arts. Why would I be scared of Zoogles? You're dense, aren't you? Dense? Hey, get your little butt back here! Damn it, he ran off! Man, what a little jerk. We thought he was out here crying and trembling in fear. We? You're the only one who said that, Law. Still, we can't just leave him. Yeah... Might as well go after him. You don't give up, do you? I thought I told you I'm not going back. Then will you at least tell us what you're doing out here in a place like this? Fine, I'll tell you. I get the feeling you'll follow me all the way to Mosgul if I don't. You're going to Mosgul? Why not go with some adults to protect you? Because that would defeat the purpose. I must prove to my henchmen that I'm a reliable kingpin. A kingpin? What the hell are you talking about? I think he means the boss of some sort of gang. Yeah, I got that, but who's the boss of what? Ha! Listen up! I'm the kingpin of a certain organization in Mosgul, with tons of henchmen at my disposal. But apparently I can't enter Mosgul now, so I can't see any of my henchmen. If you know you can't enter it, then why are you heading there? There are powerful Zoogles around here. This is no place for children to play make-believe about henchmen and kingpins. It's not make-believe! I must do this to show my henchmen in Mosgul that their boss is alive and well! and to maintain order within our organization. So I thought defeating some strong Zoogles near Mosgul would help. You mean so your henchmen would hear about your exploits? And what exactly does your organization do, anyway? You're too dense to understand, loser. And this discussion is over. See ya! That son of a... I'm trying to play along, and he calls me dense? What a little... jerk! Please don't pick fights with children, Law. Now that boy has run off alone again. Ugh, if you say so. Next time, he's not getting away. No choice. You're mine! Look at Burn! Uh, one cut off! Sonic Rush! Pierce through! Burn. You're mine! I'm on a run! Right yeah. Don't you use up enough power well, of at this point? <laughs> I always feel safe when we've got you in front of us. We've turned the tables on him. There are still with more me. left. Right. No time to hold back. Right in your face. Lunar Rondo. Prepare to be steered. Air thrust. The heavens must be smiling.
Dannon. All right, fine. I guess I could let you join us. At the lowest possible rank, of course. You still haven't even told me what your organization is. Ugh, whatever. Do you see how dangerous it is now, though? Yeah, yeah. I'm not obtuse. I knew I wasn't safe on my own. But my friends are all stuck in Mosgul. That's what I heard, at least. Every day was so fun back on Lenegas. We formed our organization. I became the kingpin. So, you really just want to go see your friends? You could have just said so from the get-go, you know? I understand how you feel. But what if your friends heard that you got hurt out here? They'd be worried. They'd try to come see you, and then they'd be in danger too. Oh! Th that would be bad. I'm sorry. But it takes courage to make it this far on your own. You may be a little big for your britches, but you are brave. I'll give you that much. With nerves like yours, I'm sure you'll see your henchmen soon enough. You really think so? Sure. But, you know, if you want to keep your spot as boss, you'll need more than just strength. You gotta be smart, though. If Mosgul's closed off, maybe you can find another way in. Think about it. And another thing. Treating Danons and Renans differently is a thing of the past. That's not gonna cut it anymore. But all the adults I know are like that. So adults are always right? Then why'd you leave the Fagin ruins? I'd say thinking independently is what got you this far. I guess. Listen, if 
you act like a bonehead leader, you'll end up hurting your henchmen. You've got a lot to work on if you want to avoid that. I didn't know there were Danons like you out there. I guess there are a few things I could work on. I'm gonna work on myself and become the greatest leader. And then you can become one of my official henchmen. Did I say leader? I mean kingpin of my real official organization. But first things first, I gotta get back to the Fagan ruins. There he goes, running off alone again. Eh, if he runs into more trouble, I'll just save his skin again. Talking to you really put a gleam in that boy's eye, Law. You know, you're actually pretty good at offering encouraging advice. Hey, why do you sound so surprised? I do hope it helps him grow as a leader, though. It looks like the boys' problems are solved, Law. Well done. Damn straight! You've got a problem. Law's got you covered. In that case, mind giving me a hand calculating our travel costs? I have records for everything, but it takes a while to add it all up. Oh, math? That's, uh, that's different. No thanks. Some help you are. <sighs> We've got all the ingredients for that recipe now. Great. I'll let you cook then. Wait, what? Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. <laughs> hmm? Yes! <laughs> okay. Hmm. What would be the best spot for a fishing pond? How about asking everyone's opinion? Oh, but we're not supposed to let Dohalim know, huh? Oh, that's not a problem. He's stuck in Pelegian, so we don't have to worry about him finding out. Sorry for the extra trouble, but asking everyone's thoughts is a good idea. I'll do that later. <laughs> Kisara? Okay. Sorry. Judging from their reaction, I doubt anyone here would be happy to have a fishing pond. Don't worry. We've got lots of other possible locations. Alfin. Yeah, you're right. Plus, I think a fishing pond will be great for teaching children the joy of fishing. All right, let's head on to the next spot. We 
We've reached our destination. Hmm. Hey. Huh? What'd you say? Hey! It's tough to find a spot that checks all the boxes. But through all of this, I've realized something. A fishing pond isn't just a safe spot to fish. It's also a place to relax and reflect. A pond may play an even greater role than I originally thought. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. <sighs> right. Huh? You did it! Um... All right! Really now? The thought of swimming in a fishing pond had never even occurred to me. But if it'll make the citizens happy... Kisara, I don't think there's any need to force yourself to accept their input. So, Law... Well, what have you been up to with the Crimson Crows lately? Well, all sorts of things. Keeping Zoogles in check, hauling supplies, whatever people need me for. Most of it's manual labor, but one time they sent me to find some kid who'd run away from town. Sounds like they really rely on you. I don't know about that. The kids like me, at least. I've also escorted some traveling merchants from time to time. More and more merchants are traveling between the realms these days, after all. Yeah, that's right. The other day, I was even hired to escort this lady who works as a traveling peddler. Uh, knowing you, you were probably fawning over her the whole way there. I'd never do that. This was a job, you know. Took it seriously and got her from point A to point B. Or, well, I guess maybe I put in a bit more effort than usual. Because guess what? She had a special token of her gratitude for me. A special what? And you... Accepted it? Oh, yeah. That sweet, sweet gratitude. Excuse me? Oh, my gosh, Law. How is that taking it seriously? Oh, you're the worst. Huh? What are you getting mad at me for? Aren't I allowed to enjoy a few apples? What? Apples? Yeah. I couldn't eat them all myself, so I shared some with the kids in town. They loved them. Ugh. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Don't even talk to me anymore. Huh? Hey! what I do? I'm totally lost, man. You might want to, uh, think about how things are gonna sound before you say them. Finally made it. I see. So you want to build a fishing pond. But you can't find a good location. Then how about here? It's surrounded by animals and nature. 
The perfect spot, huh? Whoa, really? Kisara, this would be great. Indeed. It would be easy for me to stop by, and we could arrange for a patrol to keep away any zoogles. Then the ranch will be protected too. That's two birds with one stone. Then if it's settled, all that's left is preparations to build the pond. No, wait a moment. As we've traveled around, I've seen other spots where I want to build a pond too. Huh? But the other ones all had reasons that made them a bad fit for a fishing pond. That's true. Still, I've realized the benefits of building fishing ponds there. I can't forget about all that at the drop of a hat. All right, that certainly sounds like your way of thinking. Then let's think again about each spot. No, I plan to build fishing ponds in all of the sites we visited. That will cost more money, of course, but I'll find a way to save it up. At all of the sites? That's one big job. All right, I'll see this through to the end too, Kisara. I can help with building the pond here. I'm no stranger to physical labor, after all. Thanks. I'll ask for your help when I need it. My dream still has a long way to go. I had no idea you were planning such a thing. I apologize for not telling you. I didn't want to trouble you. It's merely a small dream of mine. Oh, it is no small thing. Creating a space for people to connect is truly magnificent. I'll be sure to visit the fishing pond once it has been completed. By all means. I'll gladly teach you the joys of fishing when you do. Finally made it. Hmm. All right. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. La? Yeah. <laughs> oh? An embroidery class sounds like so much fun. What do you two want to make? I want to embroider an image of Hoodle. It'll be the cutest thing ever. I want to make something cool. Maybe start by deciding what exactly that is. But I look forward to the finished products, both of them.
Always good. be back in familiar territory. <laughs> you don't say. I'm throwing down the gauntlet. Let's see who can make the best juice. Well, you're certainly fired up. Are you suggesting a competition? That's right. I had to MC the pancake contest, so this time I'm gonna be a contestant. All right. Challenge accept. No way, Alfin. You should sit this one out. No one wants to drink spicy juice. <sighs> Defeated before even setting foot on the battlefield. Well, if it's anything like the last one, I'll join in this time instead of judging. I want to test my skills against the reigning pancake champ. Wait, you mean me? Oh no, what am I gonna do? There's no way I can go up against Kisara. But I guess my title as the champion is on the line. And if I can get Hurl to lend me a talent again... Hurl, <laughs> wait! Where are you going? Maybe you should take a pass on this one. For Hoodle's sake. I'm in as well. What about you, Xion? Will you participate? <laughs> Not this time. If Kisara's competing in the contest, someone will need to sit out and judge all the entries. Then it's decided. The winner is the juice that Xion likes best. Let's do it. That's right. I can drink as much juice as you can dish out. Bring it on. Something tells me she just wants free juice. Once we've gathered all of our ingredients, let's head to Faria Ranch. We should find all the tools we need there. The competition will be fierce. I'll have my work cut out for me if I want to make up for my pancake defeat. Hoodle! Please, come back! Don't leave me! Hoodle!
Hmm. With this many ingredients, we should be able to effectively work on our juice mixtures. All right. Back to the ranch we go. I... Wonder what we can make with this. If you can't decide, I'll have it raw. Hey, wait! Don't eat that! Who can mix up the tastiest juice blend? Let's find out! Hoodle and I will be your hosts! <coughs> First, a special thanks to Bogdell for providing our lovely venue here at Faria Ranch. Now then, let's kick things off. So Renwell and Hoodle are emceeing this time. Xion, could you please say a few words as our judge? Of course. I can tell everyone has put their best effort into today's competition, and I'm eager to sample the fruits of that labor. Sounds like Xion's taste buds are ready. So, without further ado, let's bring out our first contestant. It's... That's right. I'm the first challenger. Star player Kisara is first up to bat. Has this competition been won before it's even started? My recipe may seem unsophisticated at first, but I think you'll find it to be perfect for this competition. Here is my entry. Whoa! Just check out that presentation. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. I put a lot of care into the quality and flavor, not just the appearance. I used the finest milk, as well as fresh strawberries picked this morning. Overall, my strawberry milk blend achieves an elegant yet subtle sweetness that I think will pair perfectly with pancakes. Just the sort of recipe I would expect from you, Kisara. I knew I could count on you to put your best foot forward when it comes to cuisine. Well, I also kept in mind that the recipe we created not only had to be worthy of bearing Dohalim's name, but also had to work as a sellable product. With that in mind, I tried to replicate his elegance and refinement in both the presentation and flavor of my entry. Even her description is flawless. She's thought of everything. That's an approach to the assignment only you would think of, Kisara. Let's give it a taste. Hmm... It certainly is delicious. And I'm sure it will pair well with pancakes, too. Is this it? Has Kisara already claimed the title? However, it feels a little too conventional. I don't imagine it would make any notable waves if it was released as a new product. Wh what It's a solid entry, but I think the juice we release has to surprise the drinker. It should give them something unexpected. For example, you could try dumping more sugar in it to sweeten it up. I... It's true. I may have avoided taking risks in the pursuit of a smooth, easily accessible drink. But if the juice is too sweet, it won't go well with the pancakes, and adding that much sugar would definitely make the juice unhealthy. I think you did a great job, Kisara. <laughs> Alfin, I don't need your consolation. I created this recipe, and I will destroy it with my own hands. Wow, she is not taking this well. Has fan favorite Kisara been knocked out of the competition? What will happen next? You want a juice that will surprise the drinker, you say? If so, then it would appear victory is mine. A bold statement. It sounds like you're confident in your entry, Dohalim. Extremely. All my work has been for this. Behold, my masterpiece! Uh, it's awfully... viscous. You mustn't judge on looks alone. I ask that you refrain from commenting until you've tasted it. Fair enough. Well, here goes. Th this is... it's amazing! The taste is rough yet elegant, utterly overtaking your mouth! What? No way! It tastes good? What's in it anyway? High-grade horse meat, sprinkled with pepper and grilled, then flavored with tomato and juiced. Not only will a glass of this juice sate your hunger, but if served with pancakes, it will be the main course. So the pancakes would be like a dessert then? 
I agree. This certainly meets the requirements of the assignment. Not only does this juice deliver an actual surprise, but it's also truly satisfying to imbibe. Indeed. Actually, I would say this recipe's only flaw is it tastes even better before it's juiced. Disqualified! <laughs> Eliminated yet again. In a way, it's impressive you can make something like this every time. A disqualification is a disqualification. I will keep this recipe to myself, so that it never again sees the light of day. Oh man, I'm last! Kisara's tried and true entry is out, and Dohalim's crazy concoction has been disqualified. Now I'm next on the chopping block! Oh, what am I gonna do? La! Come on, hurry up! You're the last contestant, so get out here already! Coming, Rinwell! Uh, damn it! Think, Law, think! Oh, use your head! Wait, my head! That's it! If this juice is gonna reflect the real me, I gotta go all in! Time to go big or go home! Uh -huh. <sighs> Sorry for the wait. Here is my entry! Hmm... It doesn't look particularly unique. Still, let's give it a taste. This texture is amazing. It has the perfect amount of pulp. It feels less like juice and more like I'm drinking an actual fruit. The aftertaste is cool and refreshing, yet it's substantial enough for a single glass to leave you feeling satisfied. This juice will not only fill the stomach, but also go perfectly with pancakes. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Wait, so then? Yes, Law is the winner. Haha, <laughs> really? You're serious? Hell yeah! But Law, how did you make this? Did you grate an apple into a cloth and wring the juice out through it? Nah, that's way too much hassle. The only tools I needed were these finely tuned muscles. Listen up! First, I split the fruit open with a headbutt. Then, I squeeze the juice out with my bare hands. And voila! Its appearance is understated, but it was made through a crazy process. Suits Doholim perfectly, don't you think? So, is that what you think of me? Putting aside the juicing method, I guess this means we have a recipe we can turn in. Hold on. No one could reproduce that juicing process except Law. Does that mean we have to turn him in too? Huh? Come on, no need to go that far. No, she's right. Sorry, Law, but this is goodbye. Take your recipe and head back to Vicent alone. Law, thank you. For everything. I promise I'll never forget you. Take care of yourself, Law. Just know I'll be wishing the best for you in your new life. You're... <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> hey, wait! Don't make me go! While sharing the recipe, I went ahead and included some pointers on proper headbutting form and grip strength training. Improving those should make squeezing the juice a breeze. Law, do you really headbutt the fruit for every single new order that comes in? I guess that means a busy day is a real headache. <laughs> <laughs>